Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. I'm doing service work on my tractor today, getting ready for the busy season. And I'm going to check something on my tractor that I challenge you to check next time you're servicing your tractor, and sooner the better. Whether you've got a tractor that just got delivered, that's sitting in the driveway, just unloaded from the truck, or you've owned it for 25 years, because I bet you find a problem that could turn into a failure that costs hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to fix. Maybe not, but I bet I do. And that is loose bolts. Here's why. On a tractor, you have a lot of vibration. And so if you've got an older tractor that you use and you never check the torque on certain bolts on that tractor, they could be getting loose over time. And you get enough of them loose in the right place and all of a sudden you have a horrific failure. If you've had something like that, put them in the comments down below because I'd like other people to see it does happen. The main ones I want you to check today, and I've done other videos on this, and I've got one that's a little more detailed. I'll put a post, uh, a link at the end. But the main ones I want you to check today, the ones that are probably more critical than any other, are the wheel bolts and the front end loader bolts. And I'll tell you why you need to check this on a new tractor. This time of year, I can tell you what's going on in most dealerships. The salespeople are selling stuff left and right if they can get it. And, and people are wanting their tractors. When can I have that delivered? And I was a manager of a store for 11 years that sold a lot of small tractors. And you have people wanting tractors, service departments backed up with people wanting their stuff fixed. And the tendency is to send uh, your high school kid or college kid that's working part-time out to prep a tractor. And you might hand him a list of things to do to it, and he might do it, he might not. He's not real motivated. He's not in, in, in management yet. He doesn't know how critical these things are. So sometimes on a new tractor, they just don't get checked. And the tractors we sold generally had a checklist that you had to fill out as a dealer that this stuff was done. But what happens is it gets filled out whether it's done or not in the heat of battle. And I'm telling you, in most dealerships, this time of year, it's kind of a battle. You get a lot of business coming in. So what happens is your tractor gets delivered and maybe there's some loose bolts around there that are hand tied or maybe, maybe they're pretty tight, but over time they work loose. So what happens when they do work loose? Well, you could lose a wheel off the side of your tractor. That's dangerous and that's gonna be expensive to fix or the front end loader could shear off a bunch of bolts and drop to the ground. Now that's an extreme situation, but it has happened. So if you've got a new tractor and one of those two scenarios happens, whose fault is it? Hate to tell you, nobody's gonna cover that under warranty because if you look in your owner's manual, it's gonna tell you check torque on these bolts. So today we're gonna to do that on the front and rear wheels and on the loader. There's a few things we're gonna need for this project. First, grab your owner's manual and you probably have an owner's manual for the tractor and an owner's manual for the front end loader. So the information will be in different places, but get both of them. Now, one of the bugaboos of mine that really drives me crazy is the manufacturers are not real big on putting these torque specs front and center where you can see them. And that bothers me. To me, if it's my responsibility to keep all these things tight, tell me how tight. So owner's manual first. Next thing we need is a torque wrench. And I have, and I'm going to kind of plug this brand, a Tecton. I, I don't use a torque wrench enough to buy a really good one, like a snap-on or something like that. Tecton was on, on uh, Amazon and seemed like a decent price, got decent reviews, and that's what I bought. If you want to buy one just like this, go down to the description below and you can buy it off my Amazon store. It helps support my channel. So I've got this Tecton wrench, and then I write it with a paint pencil in the top of the box what the torque specs are. Uh, for the front wheels, uh, 125 and rear wheels, and then for the rim to the hub 180, I've got it written right here. Good idea, then you don't have to mess with the owner's manual every time. So you need a torque wrench, and then get you some good sockets, and Tecton makes decent sockets, they're impact worthy, and I, I only use about two of these, but, but nice to have them. And then, uh, then you're also going to need some extensions, because some of these bolts are difficult to get to. Now you purists out there, I know when you put an extension on a torque wrench, that changes the settings, but it's going to get you in the ballpark, it's going to be close, and I'm all about close. And then the last thing you need, this is a miracle drug called ibuprofen, and I'll use that in the morning. If you're my age, putting 185 pounds of torque on something, you'll need this tomorrow. All right, let's get going. 
Okay, the front wheels, 125 pounds of torque, number 22 metric. Let's see how many of them are loose. 22, and I'll probably need an extension about like that. Here we go, six bolts, let's see how they did. Tight. That one's good. Good. All right, those were all good. That one was a little loose. That one turned a little. Okay, I have six bolts on the front, two turned. Okay, back wheels. 125 pounds of torque, number 22 metric. Here we go, let's see how many are loose. Some companies will paint where the uh, nuts are and then if they're starting to loosen up, you can tell if you've got little lines here that all head to the center, that's what's going on. They were all good. Now come the really fun bolts. There's uh, six bolts that hold the center section to the rim. And you torque them to 185. So we're going to crank her down. <laughs> there we go. These are a bear cat to get to. Okay, all done. I think I had on the six, let's see, 12, 24, 32, 40. Of the 40 total bolts on the wheels, let's see, is that right? Eight, 16, yeah, 40. I had four that were kind of loose. Not, not bad loose, but loose enough. I'm glad I, I did this. Let's go to the loader. Oh, that was a little loose. Not a lot loose, but a little. One's a little loose. <clears throat> Whew. All right, I think I'm done. Shirt tails out, pants are ripped, done with that project, but I'm glad I did it. I think I found a total of four wheel bolts loose, and they weren't real loose, and three loader bolts loose, so I had seven bolts loose, and the only one that was really bad was one of the loader bolts, so that's actually not too bad. If you do the same project, let me know how many loose bolts you find, because even on a new tractor, I bet you find a few. One last thing before I go today, and I almost always, almost forget this, but on any torque wrench, when you're done with it, set it back to zero, crank it back to the zero position for storage. Any torque wrench you own, do that. Don't forget. Appreciate you watching my video as I survive on web traffic. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd be honored. Click the Mike Face icon and check the bell so you're notified when I post future videos. Here's a link to my website and the Tractor Fun Store with unique items for the tractor owner that helps support my channel. And here's another video about torquing bolts that you might want to watch. Thanks for watching.